So we did manage to survive the day 35 horde last night, but there were zombies in the base on a couple of different occasions there, so <laughs> to say that things went smoothly would be a bit of an exaggeration. So today I want to start off by going to the trader and talking to Hugh and seeing what his inventory has, and then we're going to spend the entire rest of the day doing some serious work. Let's just get changed up here into my regular gear and put away that hodgepodge set that I had on for the Horde Knight. And let's also just grab up... Whoa, look at the sellables we have. That's a lot of stuff to sell. Okay, I'm going to have to pack up the bike and we'll have to go over and get the... Yeah, the Ranger hat. So I've heard rumors that the Ranger hat is not working as intended so we're gonna we're gonna prove that that's working as well all right we're all packed up let's go see hugh this morning i hope you're the buying type that all depends on you my friend i did check the vending machines no sugar butts no awesome sauce we're just gonna have to do this the good old-fashioned way let me see your inventory there buddy and let's just look at um this steel spear here 4158 dukes now if i put on my ranger hat which also has a cigar on it 32 34 so the ranger hat and cigar are working just fine just um just a rumor i guess okay so let's unload here that's 9,594 on the first pass, and 6,818 on the second pass. We are doing fine on money, so we really don't have to stress about bartering bonuses and all that stuff from now on. And I've just noticed that I have maxed out vehicle adventures, so we could get the gyrocopter. But anyway, I'll take your contact grenades. 24 duct tape and 16 glue a triple armor pocket mod, cobblestone, and that's it for him for today, I guess. Okay, so what we need to do now, I have 417, I think, concrete shapes to work with, so I'm gonna use all of those to get as much work done around here as possible. We've gotta fix up that portion right there and probably start thinking about getting that upgraded to steel, and we've gotta replicate this pit system on the other side and also just kind of run a wall all the way around here so that the zombies will stop digging into the snow like this and after that i'm gonna do some serious iron mining in fact i should probably start off with the iron mining so we can get that done during the day and get the forges smelting hold up loot bag over here kind of blends into the snow nice pair of assassin boots there i find a lot of assassin gear i'm wondering if me having some points into the sneaking skills is influencing that at all also we have an airdrop coming in there's a lot going on all at once here because i just reminded myself that i do have some skill points to spend and i'm just going to take those into gunslinger and hidden strike but yeah i wonder if these stealth perks influence the type of armor that you find and we've got a treasure map over there that we found during horde night and oh right there kind of in the middle of i think that's the public library on the rooftop in fact there is now an airdrop Okay, bit of a hassle, but I'll put the nerd outfit on and read these couple of handgun magazines up to 68. We're getting close to being able to craft a legendary SMG, but I'll need more handgun parts to do that. So keep an eye out for those. And otherwise, the task for today is just chores. So basically, I'm going to get ready to do mining. We'll do mining for probably the remainder of daylight, and then we'll start doing construction around the base through the night. Let's do this.
And with that, I would say our mining and construction day is complete. That's all I have left for shapes anyway. I'm down to five, so we'll have to work on constructing them throughout the week. I have been working on the gyrocopter as well, and I'm going to continue working on that until it's ready, because that's what we're taking out today. Let's just do a quick check on Hugh over here and see if he's selling anything of particular interest. Pretty much I'm just looking for vegetables, because I'm actually running out of food. Big Mama probably has some food for me. Nice. Lamb rations and salmon, although salmon has to go for the fish tacos. Not sure where the rest of these guys came from, but I'll do Hugh a favor and dispatch them all. Must have been a wandering horde because we're getting a bunch of loot bags off of them. In fact, I got uh, a pair of raider gloves plus 50% melee weapon damage. Tempting. Especially, well, I'd prefer to have the preacher gloves on horde night, but it is heavy armor, so it warrants consideration at least. Okay, let's check on the vending machine here. We do need to grab up all the awesome sauce and start kind of stocking up on that and... Nope, no sugar butts either. I gotta stock up on those as well. I thought I had a bunch, but apparently I do not. Good morning, Hugh. He has some contact grenades, some cobblestone, and that is really it. So in terms of construction, we have everything pretty much done except for the side walls here. All I have to do is come in with the shapes and run a wall across there, and that's pretty much done. And then we'll have to get a special tool to flush up the snow, like to kind of fill these little gaps here. And I think that'll be it. Yeah, you know, a couple shapes to throw in here and some stuff to patch up to make it look nice. But I think that's like 95% of the construction done around here. Oh, yes. And before the horde, we do need to replace one of the electric fence posts that somehow was lost, even though it's encased in bulletproof glass there. I think there was probably some splash from a caught projectile there. And we do have to carve off these poles here. And I think I'll just put probably a scaffolding ladder on the bottom to to keep the zombies from crawling through here when that corner railing breaks. Anyway, there's a silencer right there. I want to put that onto my SMG instead of mag extender is really nice to have. Reflex sight is more for aesthetics than anything. It's more just to help me aim. How's the iron sights? Oh, they're just so bad, but you got to do what you got to do. There's the gyrocopter. Do I have some dye that I can put on that so it's not just plain old white? We can go with the orange. That should look pretty good. I still don't have any vehicle mods though, which really is irritating. <laughs> I suppose I could put the vehicle off-road headlights onto it, but <laughs> that's not gonna help very much, is it? All right, refuel her up, and I think we're probably done with the motorcycle at least for a while, so I'm gonna put the nerd outfit and some gasoline in here, and we are ready to roll out. All right, I packed up a little bit of extra first aid. Here we go, the inaugural flight of our brand new gyrocopter. I'll meet you over at Trader Joel's. Whoa, okay, kind of a hard landing there, but all's well that ends well. <laughs> just a little off the top there. Good morning, Trader Joel. We don't just sell armor, we sell armor mods too. Really, do you have a triple for me? What am I saying? I need quadruples at this point. He does have a little bit of food here. I'll go ahead and take the bacon and eggs. Oh, and he has seven handgun parts. I'll go ahead and take every single one of those. Uh, this makes up for the shit you stole from me. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. This guy's calling me out. Here we go, seven days sweets. Tier five clear job, I'll take it. Okay, where does that take me? Oh, 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 my bad, missed this guy. That's, that's not even in town here, is it? That is another, oh, that's seven days sweet. So the hotels can be kind of off the highway there. All right. Couple of bear around here, no big deal. Let's uh, stash up then. We're good on food and water. I can just drink out of bud puddles anyway, no big deal. All right, let's go find this place. Oh, in fact, it looks like there's a whole other kind of small city out here, I guess. Oh, I think I can see another Trader Joel up ahead. I'm going to check in with him. Oh, this guy's got the army post number seven. I'll take it. Oh, and this guy's got five handgun parts. That's going to put me under the 5,000 threshold. I don't plan on falling off any rooftops, though, so I think I can splurge on that. I need to. We need the handgun parts. We need it for the SMG, and we definitely need it for the Desert Vulture coming very soon, I hope. Did he have some more books downstairs? Don't mind me, Joel. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll do a job for you later and I'll make up for it. I did pull out an urban combat book there. What was that? That was... Medium and heavy boots will, will have no stamina penalty and reduced noise when moving. I don't think that applies necessarily to the assassin set, though, because there's already 
no noise penalty there. Where is the army outpost number seven? We can do both of these. We'll do seven day suites and we'll do army post seven. We can work straight through the night, no big deal. Oh, that's even further into the wasteland. Perhaps another city out there. Yeah, it's a whole nother mega city out here. I got a bead on the army outpost right there. I do not see Joel offhand. That's fine. I don't really have the money to go shopping anymore anyway, so let's bring her down over here right out front. Okay, I would imagine there's a basement here, but it's a huge facility all by itself. There we go. And I just wanted to check here. What's my loot stage? 244. Okay, so all by myself here, 244 is... is exceeding the maximum loot stage of 208 so i will just put my eye candy and my rogue hood away simply you will not benefit from taking those at you know where we're at right now in a tier 5 poi in the wasteland at level 61 all right well, i guess i'm as ready as i'll ever be i don't see any zombies in there quite yet we have a couple of guys lurking outside it is 14:30. let's hit it and we'll just go flashlight off pistol out and I got a skill point earlier. Let's spend that before we get any further in here. And we'll put it into From the Shadows, <laughs> as if I needed another, looks like, 12%, 13% more effectiveness in sneaking. But interestingly, I'm, like, trying to sprint run. It seems like I can't really sprint run anymore. My, my base movement speed is the sprint running speed, or something to that effect anyway. What do we got up there? Anybody? Yep. All right, I don't see any sort of like a path to go on, so I guess I'm just gonna go on my own path. Let's secure the perimeter first and we'll work our way in. And so far there's been someone in every tower and there's just no way for me to sneak up on them because I can't sneak on the ladder. That's fine. I mean, how many zombies could there be up there, right? Oh, <laughs> I, I crouched down right in front of that guy and shot him and got the sneak damage. How cool is that? Oh, pipes. Yes, I ran out of pipes making the gyrocopters, so I will take the time to bring all of those home with me. Oh yeah, we could use this, couldn't we? I wonder what the noise is on this. I don't know that I've ever checked that. I think it's pretty low. Not bad, anyway. And I think it does more damage than the pistol. Yeah, 9.1 extra damage per shot. Maybe I'll roll with this for a little bit and see how I like it. Oh, it, it wakes people up for sure, though. It's not as quiet as I thought it was, or I was hoping that it was. Okay, we got some loot to check here. Car parts box. I don't think that I need wheels anymore, honestly. I'll just take magazines and some oil, I guess. Nice, some scavenger gloves there. 25% extra salvage harvest. Be hanging on to that. <laughs> Your issues so far. I'm not sure if these are people I've woken up or if they're sleepwalkers. I guess it doesn't make a whole lot of difference. Whoop, careful. Hanging on to the magazines, but soon here. Unless it turns nightfall and I lose my encumbrance, I'll have to head out and probably read them up. Okay, got a little bit of hunger, a little bit of thirst. Let's just drink down some of these murky water and have some food. Keep the inventory nice and loose. Loosey goosey, lemon juicy. Couple of rads in here in the jail cells. Right, this must have been the rowdy bunch <laughs> in the brig for the night to cool down a little bit. Is it just you two? Because you're not very threatening if you're just, you know... Oh, there's a button. Every time I hit a button recently, something bad happens. Let's just go for it, I guess. No, we're good. That just, it just set him free. No big deal. I don't think anyway. Oh, jeez. Yep. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Now I'm bleeding. I made a mistake. All right, just jump up here and bandage me up. Abrasion. And, yeah, 
I've learned my lesson. It's good to have the guns reloaded. Right, okay, so we are beat up a little bit. Let's just do a quick pit stop. Ooh, challenge, kill whites. I've been forgetting to check that. What is that? Here we go. Got one here that is for crafting pipe bombs, meeting trader Joel. And yeah, next time we go to the trader, we're gonna get legendary crafting bundles for killing the whites, rare items for killing cops, mods for killing Big Mama, mods for killing spiders, and ammo for killing vultures. We are going to get so much loot the next time we go to the trader. Patch up the abrasion, eat or drink some honey, whatever you do with honey, I guess, and we're good to go. Okay, apart from that botched job in here, I think we've done pretty well so far. I don't know why I <laughs> did the button first. You're supposed to kill the zombies, and then you open the button so you can get the little bit of loot that's inside here. All right, I, I just thought there was gonna be some kind of a big ambush. Remember the button that we hit at the Minotaur Theater and I heard something break? when that happened, and then a whole bunch of zombies came out of the floor. Hey, how about that medicine cabinet there? That's nice. Okay, so for the hours of daylight that are left, we have one, two, three buildings here, and then it's the main building through the night, I think, is how this is gonna go down. Right, and take your time here. We're gonna need some of these pipes, and also we need more cloth, so I'll take down all the bunk beds. Nice, another assassin hood. Yeah, I've gotta be pulling those more frequently because of my skill set. Okay, the whole perimeter is now clear. We just have the main building left. So far, it's been really not bad at all. I shouldn't say that so soon, but compared to the first half of other tier fives that we've done, this has been a breeze so far. Just again, stash all of my stuff into the now full gyrocopter. I guess we could just take a quick break here, put the nerd outfit on, and start reading up some of these. Ah, uh, just read the old books, read the old magazines. I really don't care at this point. Try to max everything out now. And it's just about nightfall. So do we just go in through the front door here, or? No, that's locked. There's a rad right there, though. How are we getting in here then? Was there, I saw a door around the back. There's a door there, which is locked. That looks like it's going underground too, if I had to guess. Here we go, the light's on in the back, so this must be the way, it is. And there's not a lot of light in here. How about the night vision? Uh, Yeah, I guess it helps a little bit, let's roll with it. I try to minimize how much I use it because it is kinda hard on the eyes after a while, but you gotta do what you gotta do. In fact, we are invisible, it's invisibility mode right now, so I'm not even gonna really creep around. I'm gonna sneak around, but I'm not gonna go slow. We're just gonna blow through here at this point. See? Oh, wait a minute. Everybody woke right up, but yep. As usual, no one knows where I am. We're good to go. Button there. That must be opening the door back here. There's a couple rads back here as well. Were they rads or just, just a bunch of regulars? And, woo! Oh, yep, there are rads. Hang on a second. Just come straight over here and... Just whoop. Oh, I ran into a spike there, my bad. Yeah, that was a huge ambush there. Yeah, I'd say there are at least 10 zombies that came flooding through there. Okay, I don't think they know where I am though at this point. Let's see if I can creep up on them. No problems here. I think the armored zombies are a little bit more difficult to take out, even with the machete. Working vending machine here for a few extra eye candy. I guess I'll continue purchasing the eye candy because when we're in the snow biome, we might need that to reach the maximum loot stage. And I guess we're going back to night vision because I can't see what's going on in here whatsoever. Okay, we're back at it. Got a bunch of rads up here and another room full of zombies in the back. But these are meant to all pop out at you at once, aren't they? Okay. They can see me a little bit, it's because of the lights, I think. But for the most part, it's just fine. Oh, this guy though. Let's not play any games with that guy. Whoa! Whoops! Missed a guy over there. Okay, we press ever onward. Another whole shelf of zombies here. I'm gonna see if I can kill that cop right there now with all my sneaking skill and everything. Not quite. We're getting there, I think. Maybe another point into archery would do the trick.
Weapons bag here on the rooftop. Nice auto shotgun. Got a level 5 back at home, though. So that's just for selling and a little bit of extra hydration from that there. Let's see. That drops down. Already cleared that room. I missed an ammo pile, though. And this drops down into the stairwell. We're looking for the elevator shaft, though, which is right in front of me. This is going to lead us down to the basement. Okay, let's just make sure that we're locked and loaded. We're halfway through the night. We should be able to clear this place by morning. No problem, I would imagine, although things can get carried away pretty quickly. Ah, uh, yes, I can see many of them on the compass, and many of them have woken. But they are not on to me yet. Got some guys that are getting a little bit too close for comfort, though. There we go. Skill point to spend as well. That could help us immediately. Let's go probably archery, I would say. Sure. Let's take that. There we go. Look at that sneak damage. 6.6 .6 times damage. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Just back up a little bit. It's like I'm using the force. Like, you, you, you don't see me. You do not see me. <laughs> you know, wave my hand a little bit. They do not see me at all. Yeah, man. That makes me so anxious hearing a dog like that so close. I don't think he's on to me, though. There he is right there. Got him. Got the rad there. Man, I still can't even see a thing down here, even with the night vision. It's kind of bad. Well, I think we'll have to enhance the brightness a little bit and just kind of jet through these guys until we can find an area with a little bit better lighting. Jeez, a whole nother room back here. Another generator room. I thought we were getting to the end there in the cave, but looks like we got a lot more to go. And it's just about morning. Okay, this could be the exit. Do we maybe have like one more zombie here? I can see one on the compass. I walked right by him, I think. Yeah, right here. Is this it? No, no, we're probably not even close. Can I have regular vision yet? It's pretty rough, but I'll work with it for now. Okay. Oh, right. This is actually... We walked by this thing right here. This is an elevator after all. We're still, I think, technically underground. And we've got to be a low... My goodness. Yep, there's a lot of zombies here. we got to be a lot more careful now, though. We can most certainly trigger and wake up large groups of zombies. Just gonna wait for him to <laughs> do that. Oh, they're still pretty damn clueless, aren't they? Burning pickaxe. Didn't give me away there, but certainly could have and should have. There we go, some pistol parts there. And this is like... Looks like the main control room, I guess? This has got to be it here. Plenty of ammo left. All right, let's do this. Okay, things are getting a little bit busy now. I've definitely woken up more than a couple. I'm gonna try and sneak down the best I can, and they've lost me. Oh, jeez. That was a huge ambush there, though. Back, 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 and just crouch. We're good. Almost. Okay, we've got a button, a red light, and an indicator that we're almost there. Let's let's try it out. I'm pretty sure. Oh, oh, that's the exit with the dire wolf at the top of the stairs. That's creepy. How do we get in here though? 
Ooh, yep, it's clear now. <laughs> wow, that was that was interesting there. Here, can I go lights out for a second and just... Oh, I was hoping he would not do that next to my loot over there. I'm kind of pinned in here, aren't I? Nope, I've got a... I've got an escape route. One more herd of zombies to chop through then. And that was the last one. Yes, area is secure. We did it. And I didn't bring any lockpicks with me, so we're doing this the hard way. You know what's the added benefit of doing this all by stealth is that I generated zero heat pretty much doing this whole thing and I was here long enough so that the heat that I did generate wore off. So no screamers. There we go, we're all in. And it feels wrong to not have the rogue hood and the eye candy when I have them in the gyrocopter, but it's not gonna do us any good. It's all about the math. Here we go, legendary part, that's good to have. Some scavenger boots, reduced salvage stamina. Interesting, food bundle there, nice. That solves our food worries for a little while. We've got a weapons bag over here with a nice machete and an ammo pile with some extra nine mil. And all of these are shotgun messiah boxes too. So hopefully there's some good stuff. Well, mostly just parts. I'll take it though. I guess we can call it right there. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's head topside, get back to the gyrocopter, go back to Joel's, get our quest reward, and then we're on to seven days sweets. So with all those challenges, we should be picking from like six different rewards here. I will take armor parts. This is for the quest that we just did. This is for the homesteading challenge. I guess I'll go tactical warfare magazines trader quests i'm not exactly sure what this one is the homesteading challenge group okay we'll go with the explosive magazines on this one here's the legendary the white slayer right the legendary crafting bundles i suppose it's gonna be the legendary machete bundle cop slayer will net me four legendary parts thank you the big mama slayer I'll take the drum mag, that'll be good for the SMG actually. And the spider slayer gets me a triple mod. Vulture slayer will get me 300 AP 9 mil. And that's it. <laughs> oh man, the traders, they're still so broken. Okay, on to seven days sweets then. Here it is, the seven days sweets. I'm just gonna do a quick flyby on the rooftop, see if I can see what to expect up there. I don't see any zombies and I don't see very much loot either. The loot must be kind of underground in the parking garage. That seems to be what's been going on here lately. Oh, I just heard some explosions somewhere. Let's clear out the area a little bit and the inventory is gonna be a little bit full. I have done the best I can to sort things out, but look at the haul that we're bringing home. We've got like resources, we've got first aid, legendary parts, new armor, it's great. And also I've seen that I've unlocked some really high quality pistols here just in the last day or so. Yeah, where's my handgun skill? Right there. Okay, so we can do the quality three desert vulture right now. How many handgun parts? Whoa, 15, although I do think I have 15, but we'll have to wait probably until I can get the quality six. Maybe with any luck, that'll only be a couple of days away. Okay, where's the quest? It's around back, I think. We start off then in the garage where the shuttle bus is. Let's hit it. Pretty quiet start here, only three zombies in here somewhere. Oh right, in the closets in the back, indeed. No problems there. Whoop. Hello there, Steven. Who else we got? Police officer, and then we've got a sleepwalker over here. Uh-oh. The old Razzle Dazzle's on to me. There we go. Ooh, and another skill point to spend. Man, we're on a roll today. I got two in all of Horde Night, and I think I've gotten two or three in the time since. Whoops. Get my head out of my ass for a second here. Yeah, at this point, I'd like to go deep cuts. That is going to be... That's that's a lot of things, but um, suffice it to say, I become a samurai by doing this. Whoops. The pool is full of them. Uh-oh. Come on, guys. Just go to sleep there. I was never here. <laughs> it worked. Nice. May the force be with us. Oh boy, got a concussion there. All right, well, I have some first aid in the gyro. If we can make our way over there, I'll grab some. Uh-oh, I just triggered a whole bunch of them. Hold on, hold on. Can I sneak? Yeah, just lose them. And all right, well, you guys want to line up for me. That's just as good. 
does feel good to have the drum mag on the SMG now. Ooh, vending machine here. Uh, we don't need the eye candy so much anymore. I'll take the skull crushers for Horde Knight though. And ooh, covert cats, nice. And some rock busters for mining later. Always like to stock up on that, uh-oh. Does he know where I am? He maybe does, maybe not, I'm not sure. Whoa. Oh, definitely now. Oh, <laughs> this guy though had no idea just around the corner. Oh, what are the chances I could pull another legendary part today? Wouldn't that be awesome? I don't think we really even need any more. We have five now. And what more do we have to craft? Maybe some better mining gear? Uh, machete, SMG, Desert Vulture, Compound Crossbow. Okay, and we have a few things to craft then. Oh! Watch yourself there. He spit at me and then completely forgot about me. You gotta love it, man. Whoop! Watch out. Okay, we're around to the front. I am gonna bash out through the front door so that I can go to the gyrocopter and cure this concussion, but this is like a big wide open space here. Yeah, we we want an opening here anyway, so that we can maneuver better. There we go. Just take care of these couple of guys. Good to go. Whoop. Oh. What happened up there? Did you see what happened? I don't know. I just heard a bomb go off. I can hear, I can see some zombie indicators. They're probably in here on the first level. Well, uh, we got to take care of this bear. He's right outside the gyrocopter. That was easy. And I'm going to start bringing the nerd outfit inside with me so that we can just instantly read magazines as we accumulate them. Oh, I had a painkiller in my inventory anyway that I picked up, so we can take that. And we are a little bit thirsty. We can drink some coffee. Watch yourself here. Let's get back in here and start sneaking around. Whoops. Nope, 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 nope. There we go, we're good. Okay, we got one more on the ground level here, but for now, I think we can loot a little bit. Anything good to drink? Some beer? Too early for drinking. I got work to do today. Oh, how about this cool design? I really like that. Nice. Pay attention, we got work to do here. Okay, we're all clear on the ground level, I think. This must be going into a stairwell or something right here. Staff only. Ah, uh, scratch that. We're back into a kitchen area. There we go. And now we are onto the stairwell. Can I see it all yet? No, it's so dark, man. I can hear fire. We got some flame traps up here somewhere. Okay. We're into like the suites, the rooms level, which means we're pretty much going door to door. And finally, a little bit of reprieve from the black and white night vision. I think we're just gonna be doing some parkour here for a little bit. Take care of you. Slight snack before we go back inside. And a farmer hat, seed loot bonus. Oh, that's, no, that's in loot, right? Yeah, no, I don't wanna find seeds in loot. That's so lame. <laughs> in fact, I almost would prefer to find less seeds in loot. To clutter up my inventory and yeah that's i don't know that's 15 or 20 toilets i have not found a pistol part i'm not touching them anymore it's gross and i'm running out of hand sanitizer what am i hearing do you hear that i've never heard that sound before it's like an alarm clock or a fire bell maybe whoops uh oh some zombies Coming out to play. Whoops, I thought I was backpedaling perfectly. I was not. Wait for them to lose me for just a second, and we can risk the nine mil a little bit. There we go, 8.6 sneak damage. It's almost to the point right now where the Covert Cats isn't even really doing that much, because the 8.6 sneak damage is 860% extra damage, and that's just a combination Oh my god. That's terrible. It's just a combination of all of my other bonuses, like all of my sneaking perks and my armor. Everything combined. So the hacker's candy is only going to give me 0.5, so we'd be up to 9.1. Nomad gloves there. That is... Ooh, more damage to rads. I don't think anything really compares to the preacher gloves, though. The preacher is just more damage to all of the undead. Why would I pick and choose what type of undead I want to do more damage to, right? Oh! The elevator! It made noise! I've never heard the elevator 
Make a ding dong like that before. Well, that was cool. Whoa! Hey there, everybody. Let's just go. Just go about this one one by one. And a loot bag from Tommy Boy or Eminem. Not sure which one. That's definitely Eminem. Okay, we are. Uh oh. That door just automatically opened. I don't see any zombies though. There's a button just behind this door. It must be like we gotta go around or something. The gym is all locked down. Yep, this here is the only way. Oh, 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 oh. Hold up. That'd be good. We could get a legendary part out of here. There's some clothing shelves. Right, we're into the storeroom to open the button there. Crack a book box here, nice. Just read all of that. There's a small chance for rare gems from ore. And it's the whole set, which gives us a chance to one shot, which means once we get the auger, we're 100% all set on mining. And I have a feeling with the level six nerd outfit, it's not gonna be long before we unlock the auger. Legendary part right there, nice, in the rotten sports bag. Okay, that's good to know. So you can get them out of those bags, like duffel bags and whatnot. I think previously I had only gotten them off of clothing racks like this and the shelves like this. Okay, let's deal the most damage that we can here. I think the crossbow is the best for that and see if I can just get one into him and I'll let them both blow up. I don't even care. <laughs> nice. I love it. Here we go. I can finally kind of see something through the haze here. Oh, bubbles lighten up the place for all of us. Thank you very much, buddy. Oh, watch yourself. Try not to get radiated. Good to go. Oh, how about this setup here? There's like a broken wall piece that goes down the ventilation duct. Okay, just trying to be careful there. I don't know what I'm dropping into. One zombie there. There's a fire trap. I... Jeez can't see where I would turn it off though. Let's just keep pushing through these rooms. I'm sure we'll come across something here. And it is now nightfall, so we are free to basically walk through here at will, I think. Here we go. It's on now. Okay, at this point, I've gone through almost all the night. It's almost morning. Can I see in here at all? I can see in here a little bit. And um, I've progressed pretty well. No major issues. We have some good loot. I found a couple of extra legendary parts. And I think that we're getting toward the end of things here. Whoops. Just dropped down here and woke somebody up. Well. Oh. Oh, thank you very much. Elevator opened right up for me. Is this... Oh, it's like the main conference room there. Oop. Feral White here. Cody again. Yeah, and are we getting to a point where I can see something in here? Still no. It's the fog, I think. The fog makes it way worse. Oh, I heard a spider die. Is this the main jam here? Oh! No, 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 no. I'm suddenly quite encumbered. Oh, boy. Ah! No, 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 okay, turn around. I'm gonna sneak the best I can. Hopefully some of them will lose me. Oh my God, how about that for a mag dump though? 
That was tremendously close. We're not clear yet, though. Hold on a second. Uh, ooh, that's bad timing. <laughs> or, or good timing, I guess. Yeah, we're clear now. Okay, can I have some lights to gather myself here for a second? Wow. Oh, what a curse, man. To become encumbered just like that. What do I have? A concussion? You can fix that. And... Uh, just go ahead and just have a first aid kit. You deserve it, man. I think at this point, I could probably just take one of the covert cats, I guess, just to get that incremental sneak damage increase. And we can hopefully finish this place off. I think we're getting toward the end of things. We must be, I've been here all damn day. Oh, oh this is the main loot room. Oh my God, I, I missed that. Oops. We're not all cleared though, we still have Perhaps a couple of guys somewhere. Oh. Right, that's the main lobby right there. Okay, let me go stash whatever I can into the gyro then. And we'll have to do, you know, a little bit of an exploratory run to see who I missed. Is it you? No, you're just from outside, aren't you? Yep. Well, I guess let's loot up while we can. There we go, we're in. And we're, we're already at max loot stage, so nice preacher gloves, treasure map. And it's going to be difficult <laughs> to get all this loot out of here, but I'll do the best I can. In fact, I could probably just wear my nerd outfit for now and start reading some of these things. That was a blade trap bundle back there. Ammo, some car parts crap, some magazines there. Yeah, I'll go through this stuff in just a second. All right, not, not bad, not bad at all. In fact, how far did I get along in the Desert Vulture? Level four, and did I have any other handgun magazines? That's one. Explosive magazine, couple of trap magazines, handy land magazine. Yeah, I guess that's just about it. So we're getting pretty close. I think we'll have it in no time flat. Okay, I gathered up what I could. We still have a zombie here somewhere. Ah! Not that one. Man, I feel like the zombie could be anywhere. I don't, I have no idea like where I've even been or where I'm going. There's a weapons bag here that I missed with a, oh my God, a level four desert vulture in it. That's gonna save us so many handgun parts and I guess I'll bash into this while I'm at it. That's good for not much else. Oh, is it you? Yeah, you're not who I'm looking for. Neither are you. That's definitely not who I'm looking for. Nor is that guy. Oh! Hello there. That's not the one. That was one, though. Oh, another one here. Gliding turtle. Also not the one. Okay, so there just could be like... One... Oh, because I snuck through here and yeah, I didn't wake everybody up. So if I wasn't being thorough looking for them, there could be any number of just... Random sleepers around here anywhere. Yeah, chalk that up for one of the big disadvantages of stealth is that you just kind of miss people, especially in these big buildings. Oh, another one over here. Kimmy. Not the one. A little bit of loot though. Oh, here we go. Let me guess. Still not the one. Oh, I'm getting the indicator now though. Upstairs, where's the elevator shaft? I've been at this for half the day trying to track this last zombie down. I'm so mad. Here we go. This is the room. <laughs> Johnny Blaze. Yes, it's over. That was the last one. How did I miss that anyway? Well, we do have an airdrop over there. Ah, well, I suppose I have to snag that on my way out of here. Okay, and that's everything. We are seriously encumbered right now though. And it's about to get a little bit worse because I've got to go get that airdrop. Here we go. Whoop, watch that stump. Ah. Okay, so for this one, we do want to have the rogue hood on because we can benefit in the temperate area from an increased loot stage. <laughs> Just try to get things organized a little bit. I have a lot of stuff on me right now. Anything good though? Magazine bundles, some juice, and some ranged mods. All right, this is going to take some doing here. I wonder what the noise is like on this. Like, is it loud for zombies? Does it wake them up easily? Or, I don't even think I care. What's the damage on it? 116. It's like double damage from the pistol. 
This ought to be fun. All right, one last stop. We might as well do it now. Just go get our quest reward and get it this whole saga over with. There we go. There's a sugar butt and an extra eye candy, extra rock buster. And this counts as a magnum here. So this gives me the 5% better barter bonus. And for all that effort, I'm gonna get five repair kits, basically. Any more jobs? He's got Navasgain Corrections and Navasgain County Jail. I guess take your pick. I don't know that I recall which one is which, so I'll take the County Jail. I'm not gonna do that anytime soon. We now have to go back home and stash the inventory and get reorganized. It has been quite an ordeal out here. In fact, one more skill point to close things out. Yeah, I guess I'll go Whirlwind. That should increase my attack speed with Dines a little bit. All right. That is it. Thank you very much for watching my back out there in the tier fives over the last couple days. We have several more tier fives yet to go until we can unlock the infested tier fives. Oh, and right over here on my right is the Navasgain County Jail. I guess we can hit that up someday. I'd like to do that because it's very close by and I feel like I know my way around there pretty well. All right, my friends, I will catch you later on today after I get nice and reorganized and fed and hydrated and all that. So I'll catch up with you again later on this evening. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.